Mr. Cratchit, how are you in this fine Christmas Eve? In good spirits, sir. Very well, very well. Is my uncle in? He's just through there. I'd be wary if I were you. He's quite irritable today. Merry Christmas, Uncle. God bless you. A humbug. Christmas a humbug, Uncle. You don't mean that. I do, and a good afternoon. Please, Uncle, don't be so cross. How about you join me and my wife for a lovely Christmas dinner? Ha! Good afternoon. Let me keep Christmas in my way, and you in yours. But, Uncle, you never keep Christmas. Then let me leave it alone, and I say good afternoon. Very well, Uncle. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I hope you'll consider my offer. Good day to you, Mr. Um, Mr. Marley. Or Scrooge, perhaps. Mr. Marley's been dead for seven years. Oh, Mr. Scrooge, at this festive season, it is more than usually desirable that we make a slight provision for the poor and destitute. Are there no poor houses to live in? Are, those, are there no prisons? Are those still in operation? Well, they're very busy, sir. Oh, I was afraid they stopped functioning. Well, what do I put you down as? Nothing. You wish to be left anonymous? I wish to be left alone. Oh, don't make me marry myself at Christmas, and I can't afford to make idle people merry. And the door's over there, so. I'm sorry to have disturbed you. Christmas humbug, Cratchit. Uh, yes, sir? Oh, I suppose you'll be wanting the whole day off, huh? Well, if it's convenient, sir. It won't be convenient. But I guess you'll be wanting it then. Thank you very much, sir, and Merry Christmas to you. Bah, humbug. Scrooge, a squeaking, grasping, scraping old man. Nobody ever stops to greet him with light tidings. No beggars implored him to bestow a trifle. No children ever asked him the hour. No man or woman in all his life had ever required such a well uh, But Scrooge did not care. He enjoyed his misery and solitude. Christmas. Ah, ah. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Ah, ah. Who are you? A ghost? A spirit? I am your former friend and associate, Jacob Marley. Marley? Yes, it is I. I have come to forewarn you of three spirits, which will haunt you. It is a chance for you that you may not follow the path that I did and avoid the chains that I bear, the chains I have made link by link, and year by year, that have bound me for so long. Expect the first when the bell tolls one, and the second when the bell tolls three. 
and the third, when the last stroke of five sees to vibrate. Look to see me no more, and look that, for your own sake. You remember what has passed between us. Do not forget that Ebenezer Scrooge. <laughs> I pray that I'll wake up from this nightmare speedily. <laughs> Are you the spirit whose forecoming was foretold to me? I am. I'm the ghost of I'll Christmas past. No, I haven't. Long past? No, your past. Now come, for I do not have much time. You forget. I am mortal. I fear that I may fall. Then place your hand in mine. I remember this place. Yes, this is my old school. And that book, I remember that book. I used to spend hours reading books as a child. Yes, and it's Christmas Eve, but you're the only one left here. Yes, I, I remember. My father did not want me at home. Ebenezer, Ebenezer. Sisters, what are you doing here? Father shall be cross. Oh, how mischievous! My well, father shall not be cross. He wants you to come home. He said he had to bring you home. I don't know how kindly he will take me. Oh, but he does want you back. Please, Ebenezer, come home. Oh, my book! Sorry, sister. My sister. She was so frail, but she had such a big heart. Yes, and she died giving birth to a nephew, Fred. Yes, I, I remember. She made me promise to take care of him after she died. Sometimes I feel that I've broken that vow. It is not too late. Come now, let us go. <laughs> in a Christmas party. Oh, the Fezziwigs, they knew how to throw such great parties. Yes, and this time for life was a very happy one. Yes, indeed it was. Good dance, good dance. A wonderful Christmas party indeed. Time to celebrate with good friends and family. What a wonderful time of year. You look beautiful, my dearest Mrs. Fezziwig. Oh, thank you. Well done, my love. A fine party indeed. Beautiful dresses, delicious food, wonderful dancing. A fine party indeed. And of course, a wonderful audience. My dearest, I... Yes, Ebenezer, what is it? I have some very exciting news. I've just been offered a very good job in London that I intend to accept. But I thought that we had decided to stay here and that you would work for Mr. Fezziwig. You don't understand. Think of the money I can make by accepting this job. It seems like this money's taking my place. It seems like it's just more important than our love. Money? 
What's, what's more important than money? She was greatly hurt by your actions. Yes, yes. She ended up marrying my best friend, Richard. Spirit, take me away from this place. Very well then, but do not forget the things that you have seen. A ho, 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 and a ho, and a ho, and a ho. Uh, are you the second spirit whom I was warned of? Indeed I am. I am the ghost's Christmas present. Oh, but come now, there's no need to bow. Soon, darling, as soon as Scrooge is finished with him. Girls, come on, stop playing, help me out here, come on. What have you done to your dresses? Oh my goodness, these are your best dresses you're ruining. Oh my goodness. Have you washed your hands? I'm home. Father! Hello, everyone. Where's Tim? Here I am. Ah, there you are. Uh, how are you feeling? Better, Father. That's good to hear. It's good to have you back, dear. Supper's ready. Excellent. I helped make supper, Papa. We don't have turkey, but we have mince and liver. It's amazing what you can make out of nothing. But I love your mince and liver, Mother. Thank you, darling. Bless your heart. I'm sure it will be all the better because of it. Thank you, Lord, for the blessings you put upon us every day and for this bountiful fe feast you have bestowed for us. For family, friends, and employers, on this wonderful day that we celebrate your birth. Amen. 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 How can they be so happy when they are so poor? Wealth is not what brings true happiness. It's the love that you share for one another. That is the key to all true happiness. Fine pudding, I must say. A fine pudding. Well, thank you, dear. Spirit, tell me, will Tiny Tim live? I see a vacant seat, a crutch without an owner, carefully preserved. If these shadows remain the touch, the boy will die. No, no, kind spirit, please say he will be saved. If these shadows remain untouched, there will be no hope. But come, we must leave. No, no, no. What about Mr. and Mrs. Cratchit? They'll lose one of their children. Nobody can bear that. What? Take heed, for my time is nigh. What do you mean? <laughs> These two hold the secret to your fate. This is want. And that is ignorance. Above all, be most cautious for, of ignorance. For through ignorance, many have been brought to destruction. Ebenezer Scrooge. <laughs> I am the ghost of Christmas yet to come. Look, Ebenezer Scrooge, look closely. Fifty thousand? Yes, my good sir, fifty thousand a year, and no one bit of it went to help the poor. He died last night alone. No one's there with him. Serves him right though. Terrible man he was. Oh well, his fortune will be put to good use now that he's dead. Yes, the world would be a much better place without him. A poor man. Shame people will think so ill of him, even after all the money he has made. Follow me, there's more to see. Is a fearful place. In, upon leaving it, I shall have learnt 
his vessel. Whatever it might be. Look closely, Ebenezer Scrooge. Rest in peace, Ebenezer Scrooge. By the man that laid upon the bed? No. No, no, spirit. No. Make, no, make it stop. Set me free. I am a changed man. I will dispel the shadows. No, no, please. No, no, no. no! Come around. Candies, cake, 